Hi, I'm Owen Hopkins. I'm a petroleum exploration geologist, and we're here today with six great students from Travis, Travis Elementary. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit, the, history, the plan is to talk a little bit about, about the effects and importance of oil in Corpus Christi. Okay, that's the mission, is to talk about oil and what to do with it. But what I'm going to talk about first is uh, what my, my job is. I'm a petroleum exploration geologist. Okay, that's what I do. And uh, my parents were not geologists. In fact, they didn't even finish college, either one of them. But I went to college, and I took a course in geology, and it was so incredibly interesting. I said, I remember calling my mother and saying, I'm going to be a geologist when I get out of college. And uh, so that's what I am now, and it's a geologist. And I had never heard of it when I was in the fourth grade. Like beforehand, I tell you, where did I live when I was in the fourth grade? You remember? Battle Creek, Michigan. I never heard of the word geology. So what, and this is a Latin word. And I, and you all know Latin yet? No. Well, Latin is a good language to learn. You'll get a lot of clues. When you see ology on the back end of the word, that means study of. Okay? All right? So what do you think geology means? It's a study of, of geo. geo. Yeah, that's a good question. What's geo? Geo is the earth. Study of the earth. That was so interesting about geology. You could just, I'm going to ask you all, just think of some things on the earth that geologists could study. Can you think of one, Israel? Oil. Excellent. Think of anything on the earth. Water. Water. Excellent. Two kinds of water. Fresh water, salt water. Rocks. Um, the Animals. Trees, life, yes, minerals and rocks. You learn about volcanoes, earthquakes, planets. It's all kinds of interesting things. All the planets, yes. Yes, all the planets. And um, so now I'm a petroleum geologist, which means I'm looking for oil. But when I was in college, what got me interested in geology was geology one. And what I'm showing you on the table here are some some things you, you'll study probably in your grades now or you'll study in, uh, in higher, higher grades of, of things. Here's a big green rock. It has metal on it. It's going to drop it. You ready? You hear that ring? Yeah, yeah. This is what bells are made out of. This is copper. Here's some salt right here. Here's a salt crystal. That's what salt looks like like that. Yes, this is a salt crystal. Yes. Um... Here's oil, and that's a mineral too. Here's oil from one of our oil wells. We'll go over that in a minute, a sample of oil. Here's graphite. This is a rock right here. I'll show you this. It's a pretty cool writing rock, right? Look, you can write with it. It makes your hands dirty. So what could, men, what could people do to figure out what to do with this product better? Do what? Yeah, make a long cylinder out of it, put wood around it, so instead of having a writing rock, you have a riding stick. And this has graphite in it. Some people call it pencil lead, but the proper word is graphite in this pencil. Okay? And here's real lead. Hold this. See how heavy it is? How heavy it is? This is galena, which is used to make batteries. It's really what? It's really shiny. It is really shiny. So those are just some of the things I studied in college and got, and got me interested in geology. Uh, but what I do now is, this is what I do as a petroleum exploration geologist. What I do is I draw treasure maps. The treasure is what? What, do you, what does the word petroleum mean? Oil. You pop, yes, oil and gas, exactly right. Where do you find oil and gas now? Okay. Under the ground, like one to two miles, sometimes three miles under the ground you have oil. And it's down in the ground. And what I do is I draw treasure maps. I draw a map of where oil and gas might be under the ground. And I'm sure you all have heard of treasure maps, right? Mm -hmm. you remember? What's the most important thing on any treasure map? Yes. The most important thing. What? The key. I thought I heard somebody say it. The most important thing on any treasure map is the X. Why? Because X. Did you get that? 
X marks the spot. It's exactly right. So you, we, we draw a treasure map. Here's an example of a treasure map I draw right here. Here's a, uh, and red means I think there's gas under there. And when I get through drawing this treasure map, instead of putting an X, I put a picture of a little image of a derrick where you can drill a well. So that's what I do. I draw treasure maps. And if you drill a well here, I'm pretty sure you're going to find gas. And when I do orange, that means I'm, I, I'm almost certain you're going to do find gas if it's red. And I'm not sure, if you will, if it's yellow. So instead of putting an X on the map, I draw, I put a little picture of a derrick. Like you can see these derricks right here. We'll go drill a well. Derek marks the spot. There you go. That's right. So uh, oil and gas is in the ground, right? Yes. It's in the ground without going into all the science of it. Oil is found in sandstone, mainly sandstone. Here's a piece of a core from a well. Feel it. Rub it on your hand. What's it feel like? Sandy. Yes. It feels like sandpaper kind of. Feel that? This is sandstone. Oil actually comes out of this sandstone. Oil, if you would magnify each one of these sand grains, you see they're all over? Magnify them as big as this, and, and magnify each one of these grains till it's as big as this olive jar. These are like sand grains, but what's in this olive jar besides olives? Olive juice, exactly right. That's where the oil is. Oil is, is like olive juice, remember that. It's between the grains of sand. That's my analogy. So when we drill wells in the ground, we're not looking for a big cavity. We're looking for sandstone, and it's really the juice, the olive juice. Okay?